The platypus is that strange animal with a duck's beak and a beaver's tail. Did you know that besides being venomous, they also have advanced prey detection systems? Stay tuned and you'll be amazed by all their peculiarities. 8 Things You Didn't Know About the Platypus Number 1. It Has a Venomous Spur The platypus is one of the few venomous mammals. Do you know how it injects venom? On its hind legs, it has a hollow spur that is usually folded against the rest of the toes but can be extended when needed to increase its danger. This spur is connected through ducts to venom-producing crural glands located in its thighs. Only males are venomous. Females, on the other hand, lack crural glands, and while they have a spur on their hind legs early in life, it falls off before the first year. These spurs have been found in some remains of ancient mammals, leading to the belief that in prehistoric times, it was common for mammals to be venomous. Can you imagine how humans would have been if they had the ability to produce and attack with venom? Number 2. Its venom is the worst thing that you could experience in your life. The platypus's venom doesn't kill humans, only small animals like dogs, but it can inflict weeks of agony on a person, and it's the worst agony you can imagine. Its venom is rated as the most painful in the world, described as feeling like being stung by a hundred wasps at once. The pain doesn't respond to morphine treatments and often incapacitates the person for weeks, lingering even months later. It's so potent that it can even cause temporary paralysis. Regarding its composition, it is known to contain 19 peptides, or chains of amino acids, some related to venoms produced by snakes. This doesn't mean that the platypus is related to reptiles, but is an example of convergent evolution, where unrelated species end up developing common characteristics. Once inside the body, the venom reduces blood pressure so much that it causes tremendous pain while increasing blood flow around the wound. As we'll see, the platypus doesn't use its venom for hunting, and since only males are venomous, it's believed to be used for fighting over females. How wild and passionate Perry turned out to be! Number 3. It grunts like Perry Surely, you've seen Phineas and Ferb and heard Perry the platypus grunting. I'll tell you that this isn't some artistic license from the creators of the cartoon, but the pure truth. When platypuses are disturbed, they emit a low volume noise that sounds like this. And some captive platypuses have shown a wider variety of vocalizations. It's by no means a silent animal. Number 4. It has electro detectors in its snout. The platypus hunts worms, shrimp, and crabs at the bottom of rivers by digging deep into the riverbed with its beak. The problem is that when it submerges, it closes its eyes, ears, and nose, making it blind, deaf, and lacking a sense of smell while hunting. How does it manage to find its food? At that moment, it relies entirely on electro detection. Its beak has rows with more than 40,000 electro receptors that detect the small electric currents generated by the muscle contractions of its prey, allowing it to distinguish between animate and inanimate objects and avoid swallowing a rock. The most sensitive areas of its beak are on the sides and the bottom, which is why, when we see a platypus hunting in the river, it's usually swimming and moving its head from side to side, as if its beak were a parabolic antenna trying to capture the majority of signals. It depends so much on this electro detection that some scientists electrified an artificial shrimp, and the platypus had no way of realizing it was a fake. The peculiarities don't end here. In its brain, the electrosensory area is located in the region dedicated to the sense of touch, leading scientists to believe that the platypus feels the alerts sent by its beak as if they were electrical pulses on its body. Number 5. Its skin is phosphorescent. And the surprises keep coming. In 2020, it was discovered that the platypus's fur is biofluorescent when viewed under ultraviolet light. The hue of the platypus under this light is a medium blue-green phosphorescence. Yes, once again the creators of Disney were not far off when they painted Perry Green. The exact purpose of these colors is unknown. One possibility is that it helps them camouflage and escape from other predators that can see ultraviolet light. And another option is that it may not serve a specific function and simply be a remnant of evolution. Number 6. It is a mammal without mammary glands. The platypus, along with the echidna, is one of the few mammals that lay eggs. The offspring, once hatched, will seek nourishment from maternal milk. However, the platypus mother doesn't have mammary glands. Instead, she excretes milk through pores. Yes, as you've heard, it sweats milk. 
Fortunately, on the abdomen of the platypus mother, there are grooves where the milk accumulates, and the offspring can easily lick it. Number 7. They thought it was a joke. Did you know that when this animal was first discovered, scientists thought it was a hoax? It turns out that Europeans encountered a platypus for the first time in 1798, because platypuses don't live in Europe, but in Australia. Captain John Hunter, the governor of New South Wales, sent the skin to a group of scientists in London. Upon seeing this animal with a duck's beak, beaver's tail, otter-like feet, and being a mammal that lays eggs, they thought it was a joke made by stitching together skins of different animals. Biologist George Shaw, who produced the first scientific description of a platypus, said that at first, it was impossible not to harbor doubts about the authenticity of the remains. He even brought a pair of scissors to the study to try to find where the seams of the forgery were. Astonishing! Number 8. It has no stomach. The oddities continue. Platypuses hunt at the bottom of rivers, but don't like to eat there. Once they capture their prey in their mouths, they store them in their cheeks, where they have keratin-hardened pads, and then they surface to eat them leisurely. Every day, a platypus must eat 20% of its body weight. This forces it to spend up to 12 hours a day submerged in water. And not only that, but the platypus also has no stomach. As you heard, its throat connects directly to its intestines. Imagine that. Like echidnas and some fish, this species lost its stomach millions of years ago. It's not entirely clear why this happened, but the most likely explanation is that its diet, based on shrimp and crustaceans, made it unnecessary to use gastric acids in the initial stages of digestion. The solution would then be to gradually lose the stomach, the maintenance of which is quite costly for other mammals. Saving is key for survival. These were 8 things you didn't know about the platypus. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. See you on another animal adventure!